يا الزهراء الو الو من هنا يا زهراء هاو ار يو ام جود هاو ار يو كان يو سبيك لاودر بليز يس از ذس بيتر Uh, let me see. Maybe it's from my side. I'm not sure why the voice. No, my speaker is all the way up. Uh, okay. So, what do you want to say to us, Zahra? Go ahead. You challenged earlier. You had a challenge for us Muslims, right? Okay. If it was like a chapter, hmm. would you go to chapter 109? 109. All right. Are you sure? Yes, it's a very short uh, chapter if you don't mind, like, no problem. just going through there. Okay. But this yeah. is your choice, right? You will not regret. I won't. Okay. Guys, this is her choice. She will not regret. Actually, I say, and I, don't be offended. You, you, we made a challenge. You call me because of this challenge, correct? Don't cry not like last time. You promised me you want to cry? I didn't cry last night. <laughs> last yeah, time. Yeah, I was yeah. emotional because I was reading the pact. Okay, come and on. I... Okay. Here we go, guys. This is a, this is a chapter. Our sister Zahra here, she chose for us, and the challenge for me to prove it is stupid. Not only is stupid, it's beyond stupidity. Let me show you why. Say or disbelieve. Or don't believe her. I worship not which you worship, nor you worship which I worship. And I shall not worship that you worship, nor you worship that I worship. Into you, your religion, into me, mine. Let me show this you how from the hold on. this is a message to humanity from the creator. Okay, but this is stupid. You will not be that... able to change okay, another on. person's belief. My friend, and I saw in your chat many people my, my are friend, praying my friend, to become my friend. a Christian. Are you, are you going to cry? I never become a Christian, just are, like are many you, don't want to become are, a Muslim. Are you going to cry? I am very happy with my are religion. I believe in the one are creator you, you who me? is not a man, who is not a woman. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give birth hold on, hold on. First of, all, first of all, your God is a man. Don't change the topic. You call me to talk no, about no, the chapter. No, no. Okay, the Arabic go. word is... No, is, here, here, here we go. My creator is go. not a man. No, your God is a man. Don't no. lie. Here we go. This is the hate in the front of you. It's sahih. Your God is a man, and he look exactly as the following. He is short. He is hinted. He is woolly-haired. He is one, he's not one-eyed. This is the description of your prophet, unless you are saying to me that your prophet is a liar. That is concerning uh, our prophet. This is concerning like the Masa the Antichrist. Yes. So our, he is our comparing between. Is, he is, is comparing warning, between the Antichrist. Not, Hold on. He is comparing between who, how the Antichrist look like, and how the Antichrist Allah look like. will come and say that he okay. is the Lord. No problem. So, if Antichrist is a man, why Muhammad is worried that the Muslim will be confused about him? What he said, the only difference because between him. Because the Antichrist will come and his agenda will what? come and say, hold on, hold on, hold on. first he say to the people, follow hold on, hold on. me, okay. I am Jesus. Okay, no problem. And then he people will say, guys, him. guys, did you hear? And then he'll say, I he am say, God. He will say, I am Jesus. So what the problem? He is a man. So why Muhammad saying, I am afraid that you will if be you confused about him? You can talk all you him? want, but we know. Just go to the shortest surah, Ikhlas. It says, let the us, God does let not forget. One by and one. Doesn't Hold not, on. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Definitely. Don't change the topic. Why Muhammad is confused if this man will say, I am Jesus? Why this man, Muhammad, is worried that you Muslims are confused about him? You might think that this is Allah. And he is saying the only difference between him and Allah is one eye. How many eyes you God have? We are taught not to have any pictures of our creator, but we know this is not that question. it no, is not have. like us. No, you have. You like have. Our creator no, 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 is this nothing is not, like we've ever seen I'm not before. asking you about the picture now. I'm asking you how many eyes your God has. I don't know because we don't picture. We don't no, have any no, pictures of know, our creator. No, we know. Muhammad the only is, time we'll see our on, creator no, when we go to paradise. But besides that, we don't know. Listen, your prophet, he said, you should know that your God is not one eye. So he should have more than one eye. Do you agree? At least. The Antichrist is the, is described in Islam. He will come like one eye I, is I, black. You see, I'm running away from the question. 
Europe no, prophet. I'm feeding the hadith okay. right no, now. No, the no, 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 you are not feeding the hadith. The hadith doesn't say the Antichrist is anti-Islam. Dajjal, Dajjal no. is Antichrist. But first of all, Dajjal is not Antichrist. This is a stupid translator. There's nowhere in Islam believing in Antichrist. They believe in the Dajjal. They believe in Dajjal. I am yes. Muslim, right? Yes, Dajjal. They believe the, the there will come an okay. Antichrist. Okay, no, he is not Antichrist. Towards the end this of is, time. He is not Antichrist. He is the false messiah, supposedly, not Antichrist. The Jal means the liar, which means Christ, the liar, the false one. Now, why you're a prophet here, comparing between the look of the false messiah and Allah, he should, he should compare between the false messiah and the real messiah. Explain to us. Because the hmm. Antichrist will come and say to the people hmm. that he is the creator, that he is the Lord, that he is God, that he is Allah. Mm. And then the prophet is telling people, if he comes, mm. just know your creator it does not look like this. No, my friend. He what, does not have friend, one eye. He what, is what, not what blind. You, what you told and me, what you told you me believe is, as Muslims, our creator what, doesn't come to this me, world as a human, as a dog, as a, no, a, a changing form. We believe say, that hey, our hey, creator hey, is hey, a dog. Hey, hey, the gun machine. We let us talk together. We cannot like this. Don't keep going. Show me where it says that the Messiah will say he's Allah, the, the false Messiah. He will say, I am the Messiah. That's why his name is the false Messiah. His name is the false Messiah. He claimed to be the Messiah. So he will come and he claimed to be the Messiah. He don't claim to be Allah. Now, why Allah comparing between him and the look of him and the look of Allah? If Allah is not a man. How many times I should explain to you? Did you not understand it? That two times I told you before. Mm -hmm. When? What Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, is telling us mm. that the, the, the Antichrist, Dajjal, will come. Mm. And then he will tell people that he is the creator, that we should follow him, like he is our Lord, we should okay, follow okay. him. Can you show and he is fake, you, he's not me, real. Can you show me the reference that he will say that he is the creator? And even if he says that, what does it have to do with the look of the eye of this man and the because look of Allah? Because we know that the Antichrist is blind in one eye. Okay, and Allah is not blind. In one hour. Our creator, we don't know how our creator looks, but we know that he's above that. Listen, listen. Our creator stop, is above stop, any, stop, uh, stop like, you can, you can stop, compare everything, but stop, we cannot never compare stop, our creator. What? We don't have any pictures. We, he's you not have, white. He's not have, black. We don't know what he is. You have a picture. You have a picture. Hold he's, on. He's, hold on. Because the Arabic word hold for on. is are, a little bit different. You are different. like a gun machine. You are crazy. You, are, you, you have mental issue. You cannot stop talking. Listen to yourself. Listen. How he don't have a picture, but your prophet is comparing between him and Allah. He did not compare between him and the Messiah. Let us say this guy, he says he is God. Why he is saying you should know that your God is not one eye? The what prophet, have to do? peace be upon him, this man, is he, not. Listen, listen, this man, he Can will I come finish? As, this man, no. This man will come as a man or he will come as, in the look of a God. Can I finish my sentence? I know. I want to answer. This man will come in the look of a man or he have a different look. What is his look? Is it his look? The is Antichrist. He is not comparing. He's not comparing this God to Antichrist, he's comparing this like Antichrist is let, let me show everybody how you Muslims learn away. The look of the Antichrist, do he look as a man <clears throat> or he look like an elephant or look like God? What he look like? He, he, he's coming like a man. Okay, he's thank you. Like a man. Yes, did you hear this? He as a human okay, being, but it's not God. Okay, hold on. So why Muhammad is worry, worried that you are confused about him and he is saying that Allah is not one eyed. If the man, he looked like a man anyway. How you will think that this is Allah? I mean, how stupid the statement is, unless Allah is a man too. And now we might be confused about the look of this man and this man. So if the man is coming as a man, what's the problem? Why the Muslim will think he is Allah? It's you know what? I'll just refer back to the to the verse, um, the chapter that I just told you to read. Mm -hmm. For you is your religion, for me See, is my religion. I no know, answer, and you, every Muslim knows that no we answer, believe our no, creator no, no. is not when a man no and not answer, a woman. When you have an answer, our creator, you, away, no, you, you know, Masala Allah. You, you, you know, Masala Allah in Arabic. Oh, 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 I have to hang up on you because you are a donkey now. She jumped in the verse to avoid answering. And I will go back to the verse, by the way, because we accept the challenge, and you chose the perfect verse to prove his time to be false. Just wait. I ask her if the man, the false messiah, will come as a man, or he will look like an elephant of God or God. He, he said, no, he will come as a man. So why Muhammad saying, if you are confused about him, read carefully with me. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. What is the only difference between this man and Allah? 
one eye. What's wrong with this eye? This eye have a defect. So Allah have the same look of a man. Otherwise, if he is coming as a man, why the Muslim would think he's a man? He's God. That's stupid. If you Muslim reject a God to be a man, then how in the world Muhammad is saying, if you are confused about him, you should know that your Lord is, is not one-eyed. This is, should be, he should say, you should know that Jesus or the Christ is not one-eyed because this guy is taking the identity of Christ. In Arabic, there's nothing is called the Antichrist. This is a fabrication. In Arabic, it says, al Masihu Dajjal, the false Messiah, Messiah the liar, which means he claimed to be the Messiah. He's not claiming to be Allah. That's number one. Number two, as you see Muhammad here, he described even how he looked like. He is short, blah, 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 blah. And then he said, I'm afraid that you might be, I'm, you are confused about him. You should know that your Lord is not one eye. This is number one. Number two, you said that we don't worship a man. Let us see what your prophet he said. And I hope you are listening, Zahra. I will call you back, but because you are a talking machine, you don't stop. We cannot talk at the same time. If we go and see what your prophet said about Allah, look, we will find the hilarious Muhammad describing Allah. She said, we do not know how Allah looked like. I can play for you tons of verses now on, and from the Quran and Hadith. Muhammad is speaking about the hands of Allah, the five fingers of Allah, the foot of Allah, the face of Allah, and they are literally, physically, literally parts. But look at this. Muhammad said, But Allah will come to you in the judgment day in a shape. And you Muslims, when you see him first time, you are going to reject him. Look what happened. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and will say, do you see the word shape? So your Allah confirmed to be a physical being. And all the Muslims, by the way, agree that he is a physical being. He had no spirit. He is not a spirit. So Allah will come to them in a shape. What shape is that? The Muslim do not know. And he will say, I am your Lord. The Muslims will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you, which means the Muslim, they consider Allah a devil because he changed his shape. I mean, how stupid the story is. You Muslims, you will accuse Allah to be a devil because he changed his shape. Which means you Muslims, you worship a shape, you don't worship God. It doesn't matter what the shape is. You are consistent in only one shape you like. If you bring me different shape, I will not accept it. Even if Allah himself, he is the one who's coming to you, just he changed his shape. Now you don't like him. You refuse him and you say to him, we seek refuge from you by Allah, which means you are the devil because the Quran says, and each time the shaitan, he whispers into you or he whisper into you, you seek refuge by Allah. This is a statement only you use when you hear the voice of the devil. And then they will say to you, we will not follow you till our Lord comes to us. And then when the Lord come to us, we will recognize him. Allah then will come to them in a sheep. They knew and they will say, I am your Lord. They will say, no doubt, you are our Lord. And they will follow him. Now, is this about seeing a physical being? Yes. Read the verse of Hadith from the beginning. People, they ask, Muhammad says, shall we see Allah, our Lord, in the day of resurrection? He said, yes. And he explained how easy it's going to be seen. And then he described that Allah have many shapes. So now what we learn from this that Allah have shape number one, shape number two. And this is against what Muslims, they always try to convince us that Allah is one. Because now what happened to shape number one? Unless you are believing that Allah is a transformer, the same as we see in the movies. Shape number one, shape number two. When Allah became shape number, number two, what happened to shape number one? He put it in the closet. And what it does mean that Allah, he had a shape. That's mean he is a physical being. He is existing in space. Because he is not a spirit, as all Muslims believe. And as long he is exist inside the space, that means he is contained. 
and that's against what Islam teach that Allah is above all things nothing compared to Allah but here we go he is a shape inside the second you say he's a shape is a shape a mosquito have a shape a cup have a shape a ball have a shape a house have a shape Allah has a shape now if we go and ask the Muslim scholars and there's tons of videos made by Muslims including Zakir Naik Zakir Naik he says Allah has a body but how his body look like we do not know thank you very much so you are lying to us you say to us oh this is not about describing Allah no it is about describing Allah and Muhammad is telling you how you can recognize Allah he is a man and the only difference between him and this man is one eyed and we can see how many verses Muhammad he described Allah has a physical being the Quran and the hadith have you ever heard of a God he have a foot and it is a physical foot you can go right now search in Google search in YouTube Allah has a hand Allah have a foot Allah have a face Allah have an eyes Allah have five fingers YouTube is full of videos made by Muslims yet when they speak to us they deny them read with me what Muhammad said the Prophet said the people will be thrown into the hell fire and it will say are there any more to come till Allah puts his foot over it and it will say Qati, Qati, enough, enough. You can go right now and search in YouTube for the video made by sheikhs about Allah have a foot and they explain and they say, yes, this is a literally foot, a real foot. Allah have five fingers. Allah have two hands. And by the way, the hands of Allah is both in the right side, which is very funny, God. So they lie to us and they say Allah is not like anything I agree in certain way yes like have you ever heard of somebody have two hands in the right side unless he have a defect birth defect and both of the hands of Allah are right hands how stupid that statement is so Allah have five fingers Allah have two hands Allah have face Allah have two eyes Allah is a human being Allah is a physical being, but he is not a spiritual, which means he have no spirit. A human being, he have a spirit. Your God, Allah, is a statue. Now, we go back to the verse you challenged me to prove to you Islam is the most silly, stupid religion. And I will call you back. But because you are a person who don't stop talking, you are just a kid who have no idea what to say. And always Muslims, they go in panic. They keep talking, talking, talking because they will not let me talk so I can get them busted. This is the whole idea. The verses you gave me from the Quran in chapter 109 proving Muhammad big deal to be a false prophet. Why? Number one, he said to them, I worship not what you worship. And this is absolute lie. The pagans of Kaaba, they worship Allah and he worship Allah. Number two, if you remember the chapter where the satanic verses come into Muhammad, Muhammad he bowed down to the idols and he said that the three goddess daughters of Allah, Manat and Allah and Al-Uzza, their intercession is hoped for. Which means Muhammad, he worship the three daughters of Allah, if this is what it's meant. So yes, he worship what they worship. Then, nor you worship what I worship and this is again a proof Muhammad to be false because later all the people of Mecca They worship what he worship If Muhammad is a prophet of God He should not say such a statement Because this is a prophecy And you will not Which means now and in the future you will not worship what I worship And I shall not worship what you worship. And this is a proven Muhammad again to be false prophet because when he receives satanic verses, he bow down to the three daughters of Allah. And you are not worshiping what I worship, proving again that Muhammad had nothing to say. He is repeating the same sentence over and over. 
this is cannot be God already you said they will not worship what you worship why you are repeating the same again and again the whole chapter have nothing to do except repeating the same thing let me make it simple for you I will change one word and instead of saying worship I will make it eat so I eat all the kuffar. I eat not what you eat and you will not eat what I eat and I will never do eat what you eat because you do not do eat what I eat and you will never do eat what I eat because I have my food you have yours if this is a chapter from God then who is the stupid this is God wisdom and this is why when we ask her is the Messiah is a human being or the false messiah and if he Allah is a human being she said the messiah is a human being so why Muhammad is worried and comparing between the look of Allah and the look of a man we do not need to know how you do not need to compare between Allah and the man because he's a man anyway why would we be confused about him to be God or not <laughs> I mean you see how stupid this idea is if Allah is not a man why you are saying to me be careful Allah have don't have one eye well uh, isn't it enough to know that he's a man anyway and we Muslim we should not worship a man and by the way we don't worship a man you are a liar our Lord he become a man not the man became a Lord it is you who worship a man his name is Muhammad and Allah is a lie this is a verses made it by Muhammad proving him to be a stupid silly again because how in the world he says, oh, you believer, I don't believe what you believe in. But in the same time, he gets the black stone. Isn't it the, 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 isn't it the kuffar they believe in the black stone too? Isn't it the kuffar go around the Kaaba too? Isn't it the kuffar they worship Allah too? So how he don't worship what they worship? Then he says, no, you worship what you will worship. Isn't it Umar al-Khattab became a, became a believer later? Isn't it Khadmi Walid became a believer later? Isn't it all those the Sahaba the companion became a believer later? So how he said to them, "You will not worship what I worship, and I will not worship what you worship." And later we prove that this is false. All of them became believers. So when I said I challenge any Muslim to show me one chapter in the Quran proving the Quran to be made by God, I was very serious. And Zahra, you fail. You're a prophet to prove to be a false prophet. Now I'm going to call you back to give you a chance to answer. Please respect yourself and don't keep going so we can talk. We can talk over our, our each other. I will give you two minutes to answer. And when the two minutes is over, please stop. I'm going to, I'm going to put the, the, the clock in the, do I have a clock here? Let us see if I have a clock. Yeah, I have a clock. Let us see where is the clock. I am not sure. Yeah, I have a timer. Let me call you and I will put the timer on. I will give you two minutes. Please don't force me to hang up on you. Two minutes to answer me. And let us see what you will say. Why your prophet, he said they will not believe in what he believed. And later all of them, they convert to Islam. And what is the point of repeating the same sentence over and over and over? This is a person you have nothing to say. Go ahead. all right so do you see guys how they prove to us islam to be false again by themselves this is a verse will this is a chapter will prove to us that as god is talking god will say i believe not in what you believe and you will not believe in what i believe and i will not believe in what you believe and you will not believe in what i believe and you will not believe in what i believe and believe believe and and to your religion you have mine what is that what is the wisdom in that what I learned from this amazing chapter of Allah, if this guy is Allah, what he just told me, nothing. If he is making a prophecy that the enemy of Muhammad will not believe in Islam, well, all of them later, they believe in Islam because he forced them to. So what you choose for me is a clear 
prove and evidence that Muhammad is a false man. And by the way, additional proof of corruption in Quran. Why you Muslims you add Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the top of the chapter if it's not there? This is addition. Fabrication. And Al Kafirun is one of my favorite funny verses or chapters in the Quran. Imagine a waiter he come to you in the restaurant, and you say he said to you, "How I can help you, sir?" He says, "You say to him." You need to learn. You see this guy in front of me? I want you to bring me food different from his food. Because I eat not what he eat. And he do not do eat what I eat. Because I know the eat what he eat. And he will never eat what I eat. Because I don't eat what he eat. And he don't eat what I eat. He have his food. I have mine. Can't you tell that this is a very silly statement from somebody claimed to be God? The one here supposed to is talking is God. This is God talking. We got it. I worship not what you worship. What the point of repeating the whole thing? And we, what we learn from this? Nothing. We learned only that Muhammad is making a false prophecy because later he worship what they worship and they worship what he worship. All of them they converted to Islam. Muhammad is a false prophet proven by this chapter you chose for us. Thank you very much. So are you going to call me back, Zahra? I called you, you did not answer. So do you see, guys, the hadith about the Dajjal prove Muhammad to be himself the Dajjal. If Muhammad is worried that people they might think that the Dajjal is Allah, Muhammad is confirming. We have somebody trying to call. Okay. He's a Muslim. <laughs> yes. If your God is a man, can you? <laughs> this guy is like a pimple in the ass. <laughs> Stupid idiot. If you go in the hadith, if we go back in the hadith, the hadith itself is telling us a lot that the Messiah must be God. Why? Do you remember that this woman, she said that the false Messiah, he will claim to be his God? Did, did she say that? Guys, did you hear her saying that? Let's record it. Okay. If he is claiming to be the Messiah, how that will make him God unless the Messiah is God? Are you getting my point, guys? She said that this person, he is the false Messiah. As I said here, al Masih al-Dajjal is not the Antichrist. This is a false translation. In Islam, there's nothing that's called Antichrist. Zero. Nothing. This is a lie. His name is al Masih al-Dajjal. The Dajjal in Arabic means liar the messiah mean you know what messiah so the messiah the liar why he is called the liar because this is a fake messiah he claimed to be the messiah we heard her saying that the false messiah will claim to be god but the fact he's just claiming to be messiah by claiming to be the messiah you claim to be god thank you very much <coughs> you just approved to me that muhammad in this point he believed that the messiah is god and this is in the stage where Muhammad was trying to be hypocrite to the Christians. Muhammad, for a certain time, he was trying to be Christian. When the Christian reject him, he reject them. Before that, Muhammad was trying to be a Jew. When the Jews reject him, he reject them too. And he decided to kill them both. In this moment, Muhammad is saying to them, be careful, you should know that the Messiah is not one-eyed your lord because the comparison have to be it should be between the false messiah and the real messiah people does that make sense if somebody says to you there is a fake christian prince and a really christian prince why are you are putting allah in the middle 
Isn't it weird? What the look of Allah and the eye of Allah have to do with this guy? This guy is claiming to be the real Messiah. So we should warn them about how the real Messiah look like and how the fake Messiah look like. If Allah is not a man, the, 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 to compare between them is a stupid. In fact, this hadith was speaking about the Lord, the Messiah. The scam Muhammad at that moment, he was a Christian Nasara, a cult leader. Trying to convince the Nasara, I am like you. And this is why he compared between the false Messiah and the real Messiah. Yes, Zahra. I will give you two minutes, Zahra. Do you hear me? No. <clears throat> I will give you two minutes. I will give you I will give you three minutes. Here we go. The the, the count is started. Go ahead. I don't need a, a count. You do not need that. Okay, what do you want? So go ahead. Regarding like you're talking about like why is it repeated? What? The verse you said that the verse is repeated. Yeah. What the reason it? is because as human beings uh -huh. we learn by repetition. Oh. So the reason why I chose this verse, mm. uh, this um, chapter, mm. was regarding like other faiths talking mm. about Muslims, like maybe they should become Christians. And oh. even you were bragging like you made Indonesians become uh, Christians. Mm. So this ver this uh, chapter mm. is related to the subject because like our creator says like, that we should defend our religion. Hmm. Why you should defend the religion? Can't he defend his religion? Can't Allah defend his religion? No, because it's because it's a, it's a, it's um, directed to us. Hmm. Like if so, someone uh, okay. comes to us so and tries to tell us like, we should become saying, Christians, and we're okay, just gonna okay, respectfully okay, okay. tell them no. Okay, this so, is Zara, your religion. Zahra she, said, really Zahra, she said that the reason they repeat, they repeat the same sentence, which is stupid, she said this is not because a human being, they cannot learn unless we repeat to them. But if this is the case, we should repeat in every chapter in the Quran. We should say the same term, the same way all over the Quran. So why only in this one, it's coming this way? Secondly, why Muhammad says, I worship not what you worship, and you know you worship what I worship, or you will worship, and later all of them, they became worshiping what he worshiped. So Muhammad is a false prophet. He was saying, nor you will worship what I worship, nor I will worship what you worship. And later, all of them, they are worshiping one God. So Muhammad is a false man. He made a false prophecy. Go ahead, answer. Like I told you before, this is directed to us. Like it was directed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what you should tell people that try to convince Muslims. No, this is because not, our oh, creator on, on. But you are is talking, all knowing. But this is what, but this is future. you will say to me. This is you will say to me, right? Okay. So you say to me, I worship not what you worship, and I am from Quraysh, and my name is Khad Walid. And then later I convert to Islam. So this is a false prophecy. When Muhammad he said but that, were they forced, when Muhammad, were they forced, when none Mu of the people were forced to become Muslim. Hold on, hold on. No, no, we, we, will, we will show you. Okay, let us say they are not forced. This is even proven more to be horrible because if he did not force them and they still convert to Islam, that's mean Muhammad here, he made a lie. He said to them, you will not worship what I worship and later they worship what he worship. He was talking to who? He was talking to Quraysh. And Quraysh, all of them became Muslims. So I don't worship what you worship, nor you worship what I worship. You will not worship what I worship, nor I will worship what you worship. And later all of them, they worship together the same God. So it's a false prophet, false God, false prophecy. No, because this is still <laughs> relatable. Until today, the Quran is relatable. No, he was speaking Look to at the your chat, people telling me, praying okay, for hold me on, to hold become on. a Christian. The, I will never okay, become let, a Christian. Let me ask you, let me ask From you. From the day okay. I'm born to, okay. to the day I'm dying, I'm, mm -hmm. I'll be a Muslim. Good for you. So you will have sex in the heaven with 70 men. We don't have that. What do you so mean? How many, men, how many men will sleep with you in heaven? We don't have the men becoming that. We have other like who are Okay, so if I convert that's to Islam, subject. okay, Zahra, I want to explain to me. I don't mean to insult you. If I convert to Islam now, Allah promised me I will have 70 Zahra like you or 72. No. How many Zahra I will have? You know, you have a really disgusting way of debating. Like if you're going to debate, why can't you just be serious? I am serious. It shows your character. Are you, are you, are you making fun of Allah's words? Isn't it the Quran says Allah will promise them? Virgins in the heaven. You're not gonna get me. 
Why you're going to get like this, the, this different creation. Our creator, what by you, the way. What do you mean? Just, do you mean? Well, okay, okay. What, what do you will go? Allah will put you in the disposal. What do you mean I, I will not get you? I will get who? Our creator has uh -huh. created different creation. Okay. Well, no, no problem. No. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's you. What's the different creation? Listen. You, you. When you go to heaven, how many husbands you will have? Just one. Okay. And the husband you have, how many? The women, husband I have. How many women? He I'm will married have? to. I'll be married in okay, general. No, hold, in on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And he, how, how many women he will have? Just one. Where do you get this from? Are you lying? The ones that are promised. Um, Hurul Ain. Zahra, Zahra, you are a liar. I challenge you in front of everybody and listening. Show me where in the Quran or in the Hadith. I, I just heard like the no, 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 martyrs. No, 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 I know the verses about the martyrs. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get you are, uh, like you are, um, you are a liar. The creation of you a, are a liar. You are a liar. Certified. I'm not one. a liar. Okay, you are the go. liar. I'm going to give you, you the liar. You, you okay, live okay, by okay, lying. Okay, prove me wrong. Prove to me that you, as a Muslim woman and Muslim man, will have only one woman in the heaven. I am listening. Go ahead. Prove to me. You are a liar. I don't have the specific hadith be, uh, in front of me, but well, if I show you the hadith says that the Muslim man will have a lot of women in heaven. That's for the martyrs. What for what? No, not for the martyr. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, Zahra, I don't have time for kids. Get lost. As you see, they have no answer. The reason repeating the verse because a human being will not understand until he repeat. Well, you don't understand until now. Here we go. You are repeating the Quran for centuries. If I give you any verse in the Quran, you will say Allah knows best what he meant. Same time, if this is need, repeat to understand. What about complicated issue? If such a silly chapter need to repeat so you might understand. I don't worship what you worship. This one we need to repeat it so we can understand. And again, you did not answer about the Quran making a false prophecy about those who don't worship what I worship because later they worship what he worship and Muhammad himself he worship what they worship. He bowed down to the idols and he worshiped them. Now you said that a Muslim man he will have one woman. You are a big fat liar. Shame on you. But that according to Islam will take you to heaven. Which mean. According to Zakir Naik, brother, anyone remember what Zakir Naik, they asked him about the Hur? They said to him, uh, 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 Indian women, she said to him, why the Muslim man uh, will have uh, uh, 72 Hur and the Muslim women, she will not have that. He said, brother, sister, first of all, the word Hur is the plural word and it's possible to, to be male and female. Which means, according to the Quran, it doesn't say that who is going to be for male or female. And you, sister, in the heaven of Allah, you will have 70 who too. So she will have 70 men to F her. Which is absolutely false. Because the Quran says that the word who is about females. How we know that? Read carefully and love. <laughs> that can make. Chapter 55, uh, 56, chapter 55, verse number 74. It says, In Arabic, the word noon, the letter noon here, is something we use only for female. It's called noon nuswa, the noon of female. This is a letter we add at the end of a word to make it specifically, to make it clear that this is for females. And the word itself says yatmuthahun, which means they will bleed and lose their virginity. So the stupid Zakir Naik claim that this is not about female women who will be jailed inside their tents, who no genie and no human did have intercourse with them. If we change the translation, because every translator here will give you his own scam, Look what the translation, the accurate translation say. This is the most accurate translation exists for this verse. Wherein both of those medians restraining their gallants upon their husbands, husbands, not wives, whom no man, no genie. It says in Arabic, Lam yat muthahunna insun wala jan. No man, no genie. What yat muthahunna mean? Read with me carefully. Has opened their humans 
with sexual intercourse before them. Now, how many women those women are? This woman, she said, one man, one woman. You are a certified liar. Look what Muhammad said. We can show you tons of verses and hadith, which is sahih. But let us take this one for fun. Sahih al-Bukhari. The scam of Sahih al-Bukhari. She said, one man, one wife. The prophet of Allah. And she said, only for the murder. Yeah, right. For the first batch of people who will enter paradise, will be glittering like a full moon. And the batch next to them, they will be glittering like a most brilliant star. And by the way, Muhammad, he made his mistake here. He think that the moon is more bright than a star. <laughs> so the first batch, supposedly they are the more noble, but yet they are gl glittering like a moon. <laughs> and the second batch, they are glittering like a star. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad, you think the moon is more shiny than a star? And then he says, Their heart will be like the heart of a single man, for there will be neither enmity, etc. etc. And then he says, Everyone will have two wives from the Huris who will be beautiful, pure, and transparent. The marrow of the bones of their legs will be shown. And they will see the marrow of their inside their flesh. This is from the Hur, but this is not the whole number. Let me show you the other hadith. Read carefully with me. Liar. Every Muslim man will have one woman, right? Mm. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. <coughs> Here the Hur al Ain, they will, they will uh, sing for you. Uh, look at this hadith, by the way. The Prophet of Allah said, whenever a woman harms her husband in this world, that without any do right, his wife among the Huris, his wife among the Huris, many of them, says, you must not harm him. May Allah destroy you. He is only passing guest for you. He is my husband. Leave my husband alone. <laughs> Let us show more. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. Let us find some reference. One man, huh? one man, one woman. Muslims. I mean, can you find a Muslim is a truthful, is honest? It doesn't matter. They are old. They are young. They are. They, they are. They are possessed. All right. Let us see. Hmm. Let us see if we can find this one in there is none among whom Allah will admit to paradise, but will marry him to seventy two wives, two from the Huris and seventy from the inheritance of the people of hell. All whom have desired desirable front passages, and he will have a male member that will never become flaccid. So, at least, and by the way, this is the lowest number. If we go to different hadith, it says, because the number change depends who you are. But the lowest, the lowest Muslim, he will get that. The lowest Muslim. We will be careful. At least of the people of heaven. At least of the people of heaven. Who is the least? Which means the bad, bad, bad Muslim. 
he will have read carefully with me this is not me talking this is your prophet he will have 80,000 little boys servants and 72 wives this is the lowest reward not the highest he will shall have a tent of pearl and cardamom set up for him do you see it now you can read like the rest of the stupid story here so when they say to you in the heavenly brother we will have one wife only this is not a true we will have uh, 70 you will have a lot more and different hadith actually it says 80,000 the heaven of Allah supposedly is 100 floor even the Quran the Quran says that in the heaven of Allah there will be uh, a fakihun busy fakihun doing busy stuff what is the busy stuff let us see this is the fifth religion of Islam وَإِنَّ أَصْحَابَ الْجَنَّةِ الْيَوْمَ فِي شُغْلٍ فَاكِهُونَ Chapter 36, verse number 55. Okay, what they will be doing in that day? What does that mean? If you read a Muslim translation, it doesn't say anything. It's a lie. Let us go and see what they will be doing literally in that day. 36, 55. Hmm, they will be busy. Uh -huh. Let us see what the Abdul will be busy. They will be deflowering Zahra. Do you see it, guys? What the Muslims are doing in the heaven of Allah? They are doing bang bang. In the Muslim translation for the Quran, they did not explain to us. They say they will be having fun. But the Quran speak about something else. They will be literally effing women opening their private part, which never been used before, brand new. The flowering virgins. And not only that, each time you sleep with the virgin, she become a virgin again. And if you don't believe me, we can show you the reference. You can go actually get my book, six and Allah and you can read it I have tons all oh, the whole book is about sexuality in Islam so this is how the Muslim they lie to us loud and open and they don't have a shame they think the, 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 the funny is like when this woman she said that you know uh, as, as an example uh, we with the, the reason Allah he repeated because a human being will not learn unless we repeat I mean this is the most stupid answer we have a book and we do not need to repeat and what the point of repeating repeating will teach us it's the same sentence if I did not understand the first sentence how I can understand the second sentence it's the same sentence anyway so the answer is proving the stupidity of this cult number two when they lie about the look of Allah and all of them they believe that Allah have a hand Allah have a foot Allah have a leg Allah have a face Allah have five fingers Allah have toes Allah have a nose Allah have eyes yet they say we don't believe in a man another lie when they say nothing like Allah, but Allah, he says he have fingers and he have hands. How he use hands and fingers if he is nothing like him? Hands and fingers is like hands. Fingers is like fingers. Foot is like foot. When Allah, he used that words for himself and the Muslim scholars agree that yes, Allah has hands. Why Muslims, they lie. You can go right now and I can search in the front of you in YouTube. Let us do that. You will find tons of videos. How Allah look like. Do you see it? Watch this video. This is your Muslim cleric. How Allah look like? He said to you, yes, Allah have hands, real hands. 
He said, Allah, he, he said he have hands, what they can see. I'm just taking say, saying to you what he said in the video. Zakir Naik, he said that. Did that, he said that. All your Muslims scam, they agree. Allah has a physical being. He is a physical being. My debate with all Muslim scholars, they agree. Dr. Nabil Bayekli, Dr. Rohi, all of them, not even one, they can refuse. And the funny, they say to me, yes, Allah have a leg, but do you think the leg of Allah is like yours? I mean, whose stupid answer is that? As long as you have a leg, it's a leg. Well, the leg of the mosquito is not like my leg, but it's a leg. The reason it's called a leg, because he walk with it. He don't fly with it. <laughs> Allah has hands. Allah has hands, my friend. So, how the look of how, how Allah hands look like? He has five fingers. By the way, I found that the Muslims are flagging the videos of those guys who they are saying Allah have fingers. You remember? You flag them. You believe it? Allah has hands, mouth, heels, fingers. Shin, even shape. Do you see it? And the, the 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 video is under the Dean of Islam. And this is your Sheikh is explaining. Allah has what? Allah has hands, mouth, heels, fingers, shin, even shape. <laughs> and Allah is not a man. Who cares if he's a man or not? And why Allah have fingers? What he would do with them? He would collect boogers? Allah has a foot. Allah SWT has a foot. If you go to this guy, his video is flagged by Muslims. They are trying to take it down. Allah has a foot. Allah has body parts. They are very confused cult. They think their God is different, but the fact their God is just a shape, he is obviously, he is a physical being, whatever he is, he's a lie, he doesn't exist. He have no spirit, but he have a body. Okay, that's mean he's dead. Because the spirit simply means the power of life. If you don't have a spirit within you, it's mean you are a dead body. So never learn Islam from Muslims. They are certified in lying. They have no shame to lie. We just heard this woman saying that the Muslim women and Muslim men only will be having one man, one woman. Look like this woman, she is locking her door in her and she does not know that the whole world now knows that Islam believe in many women in heaven. Already in earth you have four, you idiot. In heaven you will have one. You're a prophet in earth, he have 13 wives. Allah promised him to have the power of 4,000 men for sex. A Muslim man, he have the power of 40 men, 100 men, sorry. No, the Muslim man will have the power of 40 and the prophet, hold on. Yeah, the Muslim man will have the power of 100 and then the Muslim, the Muhammad, he have the power of 40 of people of heaven, which means he will have a power of 4,000. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Zahra, for calling. You just uh, help us to expose your prophet. And you will notice always how fast they talk so they can, they will not give you a chance to get them busted. And remember, this verse always, you can use it, the one she chose for us to prove Islam to be right, is one of the most wonderful. I encourage every Christian, actually, to use this verse to expose Muhammad. There's no way that this verse is written by Allah if he is God, if he is a true God. There's no way God will say such a stupid, silly stuff, which is a contradiction for what happened even later. All those he said to them, I worship not, and you worship not what I worship. Later they worship what he worship. And he himself, he worship what they worship. And he bowed down to what he, they worship. And they bowed down to what, what he worship. 
So it's a false prophecy of a false prophet prove, proving an empty word of an author. He's trying to make a rabbi music saying nothing there. It's the same as many rabbi songs we hear in TV. There's nothing there. It's just a guy repeating the same thing. And by the way, this is all over the Quran. And she is right. Muslim, they will not understand unless you repeat. Actually, they don't understand if you repeat. But the point is to make them repeat, not to understand. Because I never saw a Muslim he understand what he is repeating. Especially they are repeating in a language they don't even speak. So how they can understand? I will give you just an example before we go. <clears throat> the Quran is full of example of repeating which is a, a failure in the Arabic. You see, in Arabic, if you are a poetry man, if you are a person who is making poetry, and you repeat the same sentence all over, that means your poetry is rejected. You go ask anyone who is, he study Arabic. If you repeat the same, the same thing, it's mean you are, you, you have nothing to do with Arabic. Look at this example. <laughs> ah. Look at this, guys. Do you see how many times he repeats? Is that the verse? Is the same as this verse? 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 The same as this verse, 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 the same as this verse. Come to back tomorrow. The same as the verse. They can now come back tomorrow. The same as this verse. The same as this verse. The same as this. The same as this verse. 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 The same as this verse, 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 the same as this verse. I mean, should I continue until tomorrow? And this is what makes the Quran translation is very easy. I translate one verse and I post it all over. This chapter would be the easiest for me to translate. Actually, already I did. What kind of God he need to repeat the same thing over and over and over? We got it. We got it. But because he is making a rap music, he need it. Otherwise, it's useless. Which is that of the favor of the Lord you deny? Which of the favor of your Lord you deny? Which of the favor of the Lord you deny? Which of the death of the widow you deny? And she said to us, because a human being, he will not learn unless we repeat. Why? What they call that uh, bird? What, what they call him, the bird who speak? <laughs> this is a chapter 55. The chapter of Ar-Rahman. By the way, even the name of Ar-Rahman is a theft. Muhammad, he started from a guy, his name is Muslim. They call him Musaylama. His name is Muslim. They took they took his name, the, the, the name of Ar-Rahman from him. This is why you see Muhammad. Maybe we let us you see topic open topic. If we if I go now, we will go forever. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Did we learn good? Did we have a good time? And the Muslims, yeah, the parrot. The Muslims, the more they try to defend, the more they got their prophet and Islam busted. 
and you will notice the first way they try to do is to lie but lying never save anyone you make one lie you need to create another thousand lie to cover up the first one lie we Christian we should not lie Jesus said don't even take an oath either you say yay yay or nay nay I am not ashamed of my Lord I am not ashamed of what he said if you say something about what he said you don't like I will not deny it the Lord he says the one who deny me I deny him we Christian we do not deny you Muslims are ordered to lie this is why you have a specific chapter in the Quran no please no Christian can call me No Christians. Any Christian when I call me before asking for request first, I will ban you from my Skype. You have to ask me first, can I call? And this person, I just deleted him right away from my Skype. When I say only Muslim can call, it's mean only Muslims. If I give time to the Christian to call, then only Christians. So my friend, because we are proud to be a believers in the Messiah and nothing can be better than him to be proud about we don't lie about him but because you are ashamed of your God and about your prophet you lie ask yourself why this woman she just lies saying the Muslim man will have in heaven only one woman because she feel inside her that this is shameful it's a fear of being exposed to shame it's the same as the hijab the hijab make the women feel shameful because she is a walking vagina if she don't wear the hijab she is shamed she is a vagina so we have to cover the vagina this is not about protecting the women they say to you do you know how Mary she used to dress? No, I do not know. Do you have a picture? The Bible say clearly that those who wear burqa in the Torah, they've been accused to be prostitute. Actually, not accused. They are. Why? Because in the old days, those who cover their face are the prostitute. Because they want to cover their shame. They don't want anyone to know who they are when they walk in the street. In the old day, women, they cover their hair because life is different, dust, garbage. I mean, if you go in the street, imagine if you live in Texas just 50 years ago, or let us say 100 years ago, before we have road like now, how much dust you would have in your hair? This is nothing have to do with the women having honor or not. The honor of the women is her hair. She is covered by God himself. She is covered already. She is born with a cover. What about God? He created the women with burqa. Didn't he do it? Uh, I forgot. The Quran, he sent burqa, but the Muslims hide it. The Quran says that we send, <clears throat> uh, we send on them a uh, uh, rish. <laughs> anyway I, I'm not going to show the verse now because if I if uh, if we show it uh, we are going to spend another hour so we better not to do that but if you go uh, just just if you go to chapter 7 verse number 26 it says that Allah is the one who sent feather and clothing for the children of Adam feather and if you look at the translation by the way you don't see the word feather do you see it they took it off in Arabic it says libasan yuwari sawatukum warishan warishan and the feather so even the underwear of the Muslim is sent by Allah the madness of Islam it's Allah who send the clothes it's not made in China it's not made in Taiwan as you think 
it's coming from Allah and this is a true story now with this I want to say thank you for being here don't forget to download our videos share them around and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon take care and bye bye